quick update here guys pretty much everything is done other than some small tweaking and to hook up the boost controller to the ECU everything else is pretty much done <laughs> I have put up some short clips of me driving it and everything seems good I've been getting there I did heater hoses the other day so now I got heat we made this nice abomination out of spare piping I have I know maybe one day we can see you know it'll be interesting if it makes a ton of power I'm not gonna touch it but you can make a nice double S bend here and use a straight coupler. Obviously that's a better solution. But the turbo is connected, everything else is good. The fans are working. I connected the trans cooler. I got this guy going down to my wastegate. That's a reference. Everything else is pretty much in there. I got the, well obviously, the burnout or two already. The tires are already looking like shit. Everything else is doing awesome. I'm trying to think of I mean, other than the intercooler piping and getting it running and driving and topping off all the fluids, everything has been going good. So I did, I talked about the blazer throttle cable, everything else. I had some funny situations. I'll make a quick jab at myself here. Even I'm not, you know, infallible. I make mistakes all the time. Uh, I just keep trying until I fix them usually, but I had an interesting issue where I had 87 in the tank and it was almost full. So what I did is I took my fuel feed line off and I connected it to a rubber hose and I dumped all the fuel out till I could hear the fuel pump making noise. And then I got five gallons of 93 and put it in. I'm like, okay, cool. I got 93 in there. I can drive it to the gas station. So I fire it up the other day and I take it out and I, I do this with every single truck I build. It's funny because the gas tank is just a giant rectangle. I accelerate and it runs out of fuel. Just <laughs> uncovers the sump. All the fuel sloshes back and the fuel pump's like, hey, I can't get any fuel, oh my God. And the, the truck just cuts off like fuel cut. Bloop, just nothing. And I was getting pissed off. I couldn't figure out why. I thought I pinched my lines or something. And uh, you know, I had to go do some other things. I parked the truck and on my way to go do other things, I'm like, you fucking idiot. It has no gas in the truck. So I went and filled it up and that problem went away. And then the last couple, maybe a month or two, my friend has a similar setup in a Fox body notch. He's got a gold box and a trans controller. And the fucking car will just go totally rich, totally lean, just does whatever the fuck it wants seemingly. And we found out the issue there was the tune is from my white Fairmont with the ethanol sensor. And we left it enabled and there's no ethanol sensor hooked up to my car or his car. Well, if it gets funny readings, there is a setting in the MS3 where it defaults to adding 63% more fuel. So as the input is like cycling around, can't figure out anything, it's, it's adding anywhere between zero and 60 some percent of fuel. So that is the, <laughs> that'll definitely give you issues. Disable it, it's fine. Everything else is fine. So other than like looking for little leaks and tweaking things and everything else, everything seems good. Uh, I can't get traction at all. So I, I got hard ass used tires and it's like 20 some degrees out. So I figure once I get my radials and some other stuff, my traction will improve slightly. But really uh, what I wanted to build was something super punchy. And this is definitely, it feels like it has a supercharger. It just instant power all the time. It's crazy. So next thing I'll do is just take it for a quick spin and get some in-car video for you guys. Definitely.